reviewing Bibbles Cage and Bibbles actually. Here, baby. Is right here. <laughs> and he's super adorable. And we just cleaned up his cage. He has so many nice treats and some apple and carrots on his little hangy toy. Uh, this is his hut right here, this little blue hut. Uh, he can, um, oh, <laughs> this is his wheel right here. Um, it's a nice wheel he can go in through here, and it's super nice. So we wanted to do an updated cage tour to show everybody Bibbles' larger cage. When Emma first got Bibbles for her birthday in May, um, several people commented that the cage I got her for her birthday was way too small for him. So we returned that cage to Amazon and I bought this cage from Exotic Nutrition um, online. And I can link that down below, but I'm sure if anybody has small animals, you know about exotic nutrition by now but so this is a pretty big cage and I got him a nine inch wheel and here's his water bottle and his little food dish and he's got some toys and we just got this little hangy toy that we put um, these like applewood sticks on and he's got his little hut down here and a couple more toys and I just cleaned out his cage so I thought this was a good time to show everybody his cage while it was nice and clean and let's see what else if anybody has any other suggestions or sees anything else that we might be missing let us know we've had Bibbles for now about a month and he's doing good super adorable he sleeps obviously uh, most of the day and is usually waking up when Emma's going to bed so she usually gets him out for a couple minutes right at bedtime about okay. nine o'clock and he runs on his wheel at night and but he wakes he, me up in the morning he, sometimes he wakes you up in the morning sometimes and so one he's... of my favorite toys that he has is this little lollipop here this rainbow lollipop thingy Oh, there you are. Come back here. Go, go. This way. Good boy. So I think Bibbles is doing good. And he seems happy. And he's got his hideout hut there. And I put lots more bedding in there than we used to have. And... So anyway, that is Bibbles' larger cage oh, he's setup. Coming up. Bibbles is coming out. Oh, he's, he's gonna coming go. to get me. <laughs> he, um, here, here's a fun fact. He goes, if you have your legs in a position like that, he thinks it's like a nice hut. Um, so he always goes into it. I'll prove it. If I just put him here. No, well, he he's trying to hide somewhere. <laughs> Well, get him. Let's put him in his cage and show everybody. Let's see what he goes for first. Okay, so let's put him in his enclosure. Come on, babes. Let's see. Let's see if he finds this. Oh, no, don't jump. No, Bibbles. <laughs> oh, Seriously, he's... every time when, like, we put, when we clean his cage, he jumps off it instead of using the ramp. Like, every time. Let's see where he went. He probably went he under went, the platform. Yeah, he did. Um, let's see. That's usually where he oh, uses the bathroom. <laughs> his is under that platform. I was oh. hoping to see if he would find this hangy treat over here with this apple chunk and carrot. I wanted to see mm -hmm. what he thought of that. And this is a really nice toy for him because he like really likes it. Last time. Um, he really chewed this up. These sticks. Oh, look. There is one of his bites, if you can see it right there. Oh, I hear him doing something. Nibbles. Oh, he's, um, scratching for himself. <laughs> um, eh, here we have this toy, which he's chewed up quite a bit of that. Um, 
Yeah, and this used to be a hangy toy. This was our first ones when we still had um our small There's enclosure. One. We only had two toys, and it was these two rainbow toys. And he's chewed up quite a bit of this. There's Bibbles. Oh, Bibbles went inside his house. He's checking out his clean house. I just set that on top. <laughs> don't don't lift up his house. Yeah, there he is inside of his hut. He's fixing up his house again. He's coming out. Okay, baby. Hello. Or. Oh. He usually really likes this corner. Last time he dug a big hole there and like... Bibbles, go check out your apple. Here, I'll put him on the front thing. Here, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. see, that's He's what digging. I mean. That's what I mean. He like digs a big hole there. And guys, with my hamster, he does not use his ramp to go up. Only it uses it to go down um what he actually does to do to go up is he like comes over here and he like climbs up the bar and, and gets over here and he uses this for support on his back to get up he only uses it to go down so bibbles where'd he go he's um back there he's in that corner He's in the far corner. Oh, I see him. He's right there. Oh, he was right there in the corner. Oh, he's over here. I wanted to. Here, let's be quiet. Maybe try. And let's see if he'll go up. Yes, he'll go up there. This is what I mean, guys. Let's see if he finds his apple. Going to his treats. He's stuffing his cheeks right now. But I did see him take a little bite of that apple there. Get the camera. Say hello, Bibbles. Bibbles is gonna get a carrot and an apple. He's eating his carrot. So cute. Bibbles is so adorable. I don't know if he can reach his wood wood pieces anymore. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I need to lower those. Yeah, like you should put only one treat maybe. I th I think he really likes that apple though. So I think he should put one treat and then his wood things. He really likes that apple. Hi, Bibbles. Here, baby. baby He's got a mouthful of food now. Go for a spin. Yeah, I think his wheel is plenty big now. That's a nine inch wheel. And it's nice and big for him. 
And guys, I don't know if, if it will, if he will do it for us, but what he does sometimes is he actually goes behind the wheel there, and he, like, stays behind there for a, a little bit. Like, he climbs the bars to get behind the thing. So... Well, now we've put a few toys in here. I think we've got plenty of bedding. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, no. See, he goes down the ramp. Oh, baby. I've been thinking about, does he need any kind of toys or ramp thingies like what? up oh. higher? Because I've seen stuff like that on Amazon, like things that you can get to hang from the cage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, give us your suggestions. How you think Bibbles is doing with his cage. And if there's anything we should be doing or shouldn't be doing, nicely give us your suggestions. No, Bibbs. Don't chew on that. <laughs> Sometimes what he'll do, so, um, I keep seeing him like climb up this thing and I'm really scared when he does that because he keeps he falls when he does that he falls eventually and i do not like when he does that so. man let's put him back in his cage i'm gonna okay. say bye bye he's been out for quite a while because it took me a while to to uh clean his cage so we have this like Here, I need a playpen type thingy downstairs that he can run around in and we have a a hut thing down in there for him for when he's oh now he's gonna climb so there so let's uh let's say goodbye to everybody and turn off the light again and give bibbles his privacy yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys liked his new cage video and if you did smash that like button and hit that notification bell so you can see when we post new videos. But farther ado, peace!